Hi, welcome to Rusty Jeep. Um, if you find this video informative or helpful, don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe on the way out. I was talking to a friend last week and he is having a problem with his Jeep TJ starting all the time when he turns the key. Now we've discussed the normal um, problems, the ignition, the ignition actuator. He's gone through all that and he's still having problems. So he was asking me how I wired my Jeep to be a push button start. And I was kind of lucky in a way um, because when I bought my Jeep, it was already wired with the alarm system and the idiot that wired the alarm system put in basically a remote starter and a standard, which I don't understand, but that's a whole different subject. Now I see a lot of videos out there where they're making this way too difficult. They're wiring straight into the starter. You don't have to do that. There's literally two wires underneath your dash that I'm gonna show you in a second. I'll take the camera and give you a close up that you splice into, put it into a toggle switch. Now, if you're gonna do a push button, that's okay. If you're gonna do a toggle switch, make sure it's basically not an on off um, toggle switch and it's basically a momentary uh, toggle switch. That's super important because if you've got an on off switch, it, you're gonna just fuck up your starter. So you don't wanna do that. And the gauge wire, you just use a thicker gauge. I'll show you in a second. So join me and let's get this shit done. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your plastic guard off. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take off that metal shield. And when you do that, you're gonna basically be exposing your wires. But now your wires are probably gonna be all in a tape job like that back there. So you're gonna have to cut into them and open them up. Now, when you open them up, you're gonna be careful not to cut into any wires. Cause if you can see right here, there's a ton of wires. You don't wanna do that. So now the wire you're gonna look for is this yellow wire. It's a heavier gauge than all the other wires. And then you're gonna look for, let me get a nice close up of that. It's basically pink and black, not red and black, not orange and black. It's the thicker pink and black. You see how there's a thin pink right there? You see how there's another pink? This one is a thick wire. It's as thick as the yellow wire. So it's a thicker wire. You're gonna see a pink and black and I think white up there. I'm sorry, let me get a better picture. I apologize. You see there's a pink, black and white up there not that one this is a thicker pink and black wire those two wires i hooked up a 14 gauge wire to both of them i ran them up here and then i put them into a toggle switch now on my jeep i didn't use a push button start um push button i want on my way for the basically toggle switch that is going to be uh, momentary and without the key churn it's in the neutral Turns over easy, no problem. And then if I want to start it, I turn the key on. Now, I made a few videos, so she's probably not happy that I keep on starting her on and off, but, but she starts up every time, no problems. You're gonna see a couple airbag lights on my particular dash right now, but I'm gonna say that's because I got everything taken out of it. So as simple as that. So pink and black and yellow. Oh, she's singing to me, let me shut her off. Now you might wonder how I started my Jeep in my passenger seat. I took the fuse out and that's pretty much on most model years is take the fuse out um, and you can start your Jeep um, without putting the clutch in. The only reason I do that really is um, right now for at least is I'm working on it and I don't wanna always put the clutch in when I'm working on it. Something else I did, I'm gonna try to get a nice close up is I put a dual USB port in here. It was super easy. Um, I'll leave a link because I'm not sure about all the USB ports, but basically I took the cigarette lighter out and I sanded it and a little bit bigger with 80 grit paper just to make the hole a tiny bit bigger. That thing fit right in there and basically hooked up into the cigarette lighter um, wiring so I didn't have to do any wiring and now I got a dual USB port, waterproof, and I thought that was pretty cool. Again, I'm going to say it one more time. I'm repetitive, but I don't want anyone to fuck up a yellow wire. That's pretty thick and a pink and black wire that's pretty thick i use 14 gauge probably didn't have to go that thick of a wire straight into your push button or into your uh, toggle switch that's going to be a momentary switch again quick video freezing my balls off and um i don't want to do that no more so talk to you later and have a great weekend don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on the way out bye